Hey everybody, so this is another video on how to make in-slide navigation or roadmaps or in-slide agendas. In other words, having something on every single slide that shows your progression throughout your presentation. If you watch my previous videos, these are going to seem familiar, but I want to show you some examples. So here is Intro Solution Manufacturer, and as we move through the presentation, so does that in-slide agenda. Here it's just a nice little square, it's very clean, and as we move through the presentation, so does that. So no matter what we're talking about, you know that we're talk we are in the implementation section. Here we are, talk, 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 look about da-da-da. No matter what we say, you know that we are in the long-term section. Oh, now we've moved on to the risk section. Let me show you a couple of other examples. Here it is on the left. See, there it is on the left. And here it is on the bottom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this, but this time, instead of having actual sections to the presentation, I thought we would have numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, just to give it a different kind of look and a different kind of feel. First of all, I want to give shout out, I want to give a shout out to this guy, Alex Litvin. I got this picture from unsplash.com and Alex, congratulations for making a projector look super badass. I mean, how dramatic is this photo? Okay. That aside, let's figure out how to do this. The first thing I'm going to do, and by the way, you see all these shapes here? This is just so you can see that we're moving through sections and moving through slides. So here's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to View, Master, Slide Master. I'm gonna select the big one up top here. See this big slide right here? This is the one I have to mess with because if I do something on this slide, this is the title slide, see, Master, title slide, master whatever this slide is, master whatever this slide is. If I only do something here, it'll only affect the slides with this layout in my presentation. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna put a cute little, just for funsies, a pretty little circle. And I'm gonna put it like, I'm gonna put it, you know what, right on top, just to be crazy. There it is, right on top. You see how it's here, the little blue thing, but none of the other ones have changed. This is the actual template. This is the background. This is the behind the scenes. So if I go over here and I close my master, the only slide that had it was the title one. See, if I remove the picture, there it is. See this one here? This is like the basic template with a title and like information section. Let's mess with that for a second. I'm going to take my little circle poo. This is the main one. Boom. Close the master. Oh, look at that. Now it's on these ones, but it's not in the title because it's only the one with the title and the information section. Notice that it's not here because these are different layouts. You see the background here? It's click to add title, click to add text. These are different layouts than this one. Therefore, according to PowerPoint science, if we want to change all these slides, and that's what we want, we got to affect the big one because size matters in PowerPoint. <laughs> so here's another style that has a more of a, a creative kind of look to it. Boom. I'm going to make a circle. What color do you guys want? Let's say... Let's make it a nice, ooh, purple. Let's make it purple. Actually, hold on. Oh, that was the text. Here we are. Color, purple. Outline, no thank you. I'm going to push Command C or Control C. I'm using a Mac. And I'm going to make, I'm just going to push paste, 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 paste. Just to make a bunch of them. Boom. There they are. I'm going to go in, oops, sorry, I have to do one little thing. I have to take one of the ones I made and put it to the other extreme of where I want my agenda. So I'm gonna put my agenda all from the top to bottom on the left. Now I select everything, boom, there we are. I'm gonna to go to align and I'm gonna first align them like this. Oh, I didn't select those two, doesn't matter, no big deal. We'll pretend they don't exist. And then I'm going to distribute them, boom. See, I made too many. Nothing exceeds like excess, my friends. Boom, deleted it. 
Let's do that again. I'm going to select all of these. And this will happen, right? Like sometimes you'll, you'll say, you know what? We don't even need this section in the PowerPoint, gang. What are we doing? And so you'll delete something. You got to go back into the slide master and mess with it. I'm going to align them again. And now I'm going to distribute them. Boom. Ta-da. And if I close my master, there they are on every single slide. And notice sometimes this kind of stuff happens. This is why if you are going to do this process, I highly recommend you do it before you start adding information to your presentation. Make this one of the first things you do so that way you design around it. Back to view, back to master, back to slide master. I'm going to do one more little thing here just because I can. So why not? And you can do this too. I'm going to select the line. And I'm actually going to run the line. I'm going to push shift so it stays super straight behind it all. Why? Why not? There we go. I'm going to, let's make this a little, I think we should make this a little thicker. Boom. Oh, let's make it gray. Perfect. And now let's make the line a little bit thicker. There we go. And now I'm actually going to put it behind the circles. This is all stuff that has nothing to do with the agenda. This is just the style part. Send to Mac. Oh, whoops. See, because I was messing with this slide, I was not on the big one. This happens all the time. I forget to go to the big one. Back on the big one. Boom. Paste. Awesome. Now let's send that one to the back. Boom. And that's just what I'm going to do to give it that kind of kind of interesting little look. I might, it looks a little crowded just for fun. I know this is off topic gang, but style matters. Style matters. I'm going to align and I'm going to distribute them again. And again, you're going to do this throughout your presentation. There we go. And let's say I say this is number one. And I'm going to make my font white. And bold. Command C. And I'm going to call it two. I'm going to call it three. Three. Four. And of course, Y. Because that's the way I roll. There we are. That's pretty much all we have to do in the slide master. The last thing I'm going to do, and this is bonus, okay, gang? This is just for funsies. This was not part of the other video. But sometimes people will call this in slide navigation because what they will do is hyperlink. So I'm going to go to my number one and I'm going to say Command K and this document. And I'm going to say that everything that has this little circle, I'm going to hyperlink it so it always goes back to slide number one. Okay. I can do that with the other ones, but I'm not going to just for the sake of time. You can do that on your own. Go back to the slide master option. Close the slide master. Boom. So you see here, you're, oh, how come it's not hyperlink? That hyperlink only works when you are running the presentation. So I'm just going to put the number one here. So we know that this is the number one. Let's see what happens. I'm going to run my presentation. Here I am on, on slide number one. If I go up here and I push this. Oh, it takes me to slide number one. Sorry, slide. I should have put number two. You know what I'm saying here. Let me fix it just so you know, I'm not a total buffoon. Slide master, go back to this one, pick the big one, command K, and this time we're, we'll go to that guy. Okay, I promise this will work, otherwise all of YouTube will laugh at me. Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. Boom. Run the presentation. Do, 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 do. Running through my presentation. I go back to this guy, and it takes me to slide number one. Slide number one. Okay. Now, we have our little navigation. What we have to do now is highlight it. I made these circles, so this will be section one. The hearts will be section two. The squares will be section three. 
here's what I got to do. I can make another circle right now if I wanted to, but the lazy way is to go back into the slide master, come up here, pick this guy, copy command C, because this will save the hyperlink as well. And that'll make, that'll be uh, important. You'll see later. Here we are. I'm going to say command V and it pasted it right in the exact location. See, I can't mess with this one because this is in the background. It's in the master, but I can mess with this one. And the way I've decided to mess with it is by making it a different color. So we'll just make it, you know, let's go cool. Let's go nice and cool. Like the background line. Ooh. And then do, do, do. Can you line this bad boy up. Yeah, close enough. I can also make it a touch bigger if I want. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, so there we are. Command C, Control C. For all the ones in section one, it's going to paste in the exact location that I put it. That's all of section one. When I move to section two, I'll paste again, but this time I got to move it down. And just for fun, if I go command K, you will see, see the hyperlink that was saved. So I'm going to change the hyperlink now and I'm going to say whatever this is, it's going to link to slide number six. Boom. Okay. Let's change that number to two. Now let's copy it. Command C. Paste. 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 And paste. Then we go to the square section. This is part number three. I paste again. I move it down over to number three. I'll be honest, sometimes the lineup for some reason isn't always perfect. So I just make the circles a touch bigger. You can do however you want. I'm going to change that hyperlink. So now whenever I push number three, it should take us to slide number 11. Boom. And of course, I'm going to change the number to three. Now I copy it. Go to the next slide, V. 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 And just for funsies, we're going to make this one number four. Boom. But don't forget to change the hyperlink to number 16. Okay. And just so we all know, I'm going to call this one 16 so we know that it's number 16. Okay. And that is it. You now have your cool little looking in slide agenda, quote unquote, in slide navigation. So if I was to run my presentation and fingers crossed that this will work, everybody, I have my super cool slide. I go to number one and boom, magically switches to number two when I'm in number two, switches to number three when I'm in number three to number four. There I am. Now, did the hyperlinks work? Let's take my mouse and let's click on one. Hey, whoops, let's run that presentation again. I'm going to go to a random slide. Let's go to section three, but let's click number two. Oh, sorry. It's got to be the gray one. Boom. Takes me to number three. Look, so do, 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 do. took me back to that first one. Amazing. So if I wanted to, I could actually go back into my slide master. And this is the last little thing I'll show you. And I could hyperlink these ones in the master up here on the big one. So that way, when the gray one isn't there, it'll still hyperlink to that section. Command K. And I think that started in slide number six. So number six. So that every time we see the purple two, it should take us to slide number six. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. Okay. Slide number six was the first heart. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. This too should now be hyperlinked without the gray thing. I run it. Here I am on slide 16. Boom. And there I am. It took me back. So I hope that was useful, everybody. If you have questions, if there's a little part that I wasn't as clear as I could be, please let me know. Happy to like make another video or happy to respond. But that is essentially a way to make in slide navigation. Thank you all so much for watching. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. My name is Yvonne. 
you know, public speaking, presenting, it's literally all I do. This is my website, publicspeakinglab.com. If you want to reach out to me, go to my website, send me a message, or this is my Instagram and this is my LinkedIn. Reach out to me if you have questions about inside agendas or just public speaking or presenting in general. I have an open door policy and I'd love to hear from you. So write me, watch the video many, many times, many happy hours of viewing. Thank you very much. Thanks again for watching the video and reach out anytime.